Hello everyone, this is Friday991 with another episode of Home Media Review. In this episode, I review Lupin the Third, The Mystery of Mamo. What is The Mystery of Mamo, you ask? Well, it's the actual first animated Lupin the Third movie. And it just got released early this week, and I actually got my copy in the mail yesterday. So, um... What's so special about this release? Well, this was released by Discotech, a, a, an Eastern star. Pretty much, this disc is actually pretty special. Now, uh, before I go into details, here's the front, the side, the back, and of course, the disc. Here we go. There's the disc. Pretty much, it has Lupin, Jigen, and Goman on there. So, um, if I pronounce the names wrong, I'm sorry. Um, I'm just very interested in just reviewing the DVD. Now, what do you normally expect in a DVD release of a, well, of a, of a film that's based, that's based in the, one of the well-known anime franchises? Well, you expect the original English audio, which this DVD has, and you expect an English dub. Now, of course, of course, there are many different dubs of this movie, but of course, in the English dub category, it doesn't come with one. It comes with four English dubs. That's right. It has four English dub tracks, and they're pretty interesting. So, um, let me talk about the first one, which is actually a really special one. Pretty much when the movie was released, um, the film actually got an English dub um, produced by Toho back in 1978. Now, this dub was actually mostly used for international airline flights, but, of course... It, it did have a interesting past because not a lot of people know about this dub. Well, except for the very hardcore Loop on the Third th fans or hardcore anime fans. Now, of course, the dub itself is pretty much a literal translation of the movie itself. But, um, it does have some name changes, like, uh, Inspector Zinagata's name is changed to Detective Ed Scott. Um, Jingen is, um, Dan, is Dun Dan, or Dan Dun, I, I don't know. Um, and, uh, Garmon's name is changed to just Samurai. Why was it just changed to Samurai. And, of course, um, Fujiko's name was changed to Margo. And, I mean, I listened to the dub. I, listened, I actually watched it with that dub. And I actually found it interesting, in a way. Of course, um, then there's the other dubs. Now, there's the two dubs that came out in the early 90s. There's the Streamline dub, which um, pretty much... Um, Zenigata is called Detective Zenigata instead of Inspector Zenigata. And of course, instead of pronouncing his name Lupin, Lupin's name is pronounced Lupin. And of course, my and of course the other um, English dub that was included from the early 90s is the manga UK dub in which Lupin is only referred to the name Wolf. Yeah. He, he's called Wolf in... Or The Wolf in that dub. And of course, the probably the most well-known dub is the Pioneer Genion dub, which consisted of the actors... Well, the voice actors that did the voices of the same characters in the... In the second Lupin the Third ser series that was aired, that was dubbed for English, for the um, releases on television here in the States, 
Um, pretty much it was only like the around 70 something episodes, I think. Second part. And um, it was always shown on um, Adult Swim, I think. Yeah, Adult Swim. And I have to say, the inclusion of the four English dubs plus the, the Japanese audio is actually really interesting. I mean, I, I'm i very well known to knowing a like, couple dubs here and there, like, of course, Dragon Ball. Um, with living in the States and watching Dragon Ball, you had two different dubs. You had the early ocean dub of Dragon Ball Z before Funimation took over and did their own in-house dub. And then, of course, um, wow. I don't know what to say about this one. I mean, there's been different dubs here and there. But, of course, um, let me get to the special features. Besides the diff the besides the English, be besides the four English dubs and, and all that stuff, um, there's an essay called Why Mamo Matters. There's linear notes um, done that was done by the LupinTheThird.com staff. Uh, there's even a rented interview with voice actor Bill Dreyfus, I think that's what his name is. Um, and, of course, a translation of the original movie program. And, of course, there's filmography and even a uh, history of Mamo in English, which consists of the history of the of all four English dubs. Well, I have to say, this is a. I would have to say, I would have to recommend this DVD to a, pretty much hardcore loop on the third fans, um, people who love anime in general. But of course, I wouldn't recommend getting. If you're a parent, I wouldn't recommend getting this for your kids because, especially since the content is kind of mature, will kind of aim for an older audience, especially seeing um, Fujiko in the nude in a. Uh, parts of the movie pretty much um both fully nude and um and some brief nudity involving the exposure of her breasts and all that stuff well i have the pretty much like i said i would recommend this uh, anime film to anyone um that loves anime and all uh, and pretty much are also um and to hardcore loop on the third fans so, uh, until next time, um, I'm hoping to get a lot more um, releases here and there. Um, I know for sure I there's a couple of movies I'm planning on getting on Blu-ray, including Lincoln, Les Mis. Um, let's see here, what else? I know in April, um, Django and Chain comes out on Blu-ray, which is something I'm actually going to these are movies I'm going to get no matter what. I mean, I'm going to see. I'm going to see what I can do to continue this review thing onwards and all that stuff. Well, <laughs> anyway, this has been Friday Time One, and I'm signing off.